far as not being able to get our windows and not knowing when we're gonna get our windows, it kind of delays the whole project. Shade, it's pretty hot and humid, but I have some more corn that I need to harvest today. A lot of it is coming in now. The good news is since we did our uh, barbed wire after we had that raccoon get in here, I don't think that he's been back. So hopefully that fixed the problem. Oh, these are gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot today. Hey, Oni. <laughs> hey, Oni. <laughs> So that's all the corn for today. The biggest or the best plants that we have, I'm gonna just save those to go to seed, to collect seed from. Now I'm gonna go pick some green beans. Previously, I didn't even really care that much about growing green beans because I've never really enjoyed garden green beans that much. <laughs> but I think it was more of error on my part of harvesting the green beans a little too late. I'm not even really sure like what variety this is, but I cooked some of these up the other night and they were absolutely delicious. What are you doing, honey? <laughs> my chicken. Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> honey wants to go in the house. You remember being in there? <laughs> You're waiting for the door to open? <laughs> you wanna go inside where there's air conditioning? Yeah. We're finally getting back to work on our walk-in chicken coop today. It's been a few days, but we had some garden harvesting to do and some other projects to do around the homestead. So the first thing we're gonna do today is that, you know, we previously had built out um, the bottoms and the sides of the nesting boxes. And today, the first thing we're gonna do is to put the top on that. we're doing here is removing the bottom of this stud here. This stud doesn't actually even really have to be here anyway. 
Um, and it's not, not weight bearing. Yeah, it's not weight bearing at all. And it, it probably, if we'd have actually thought about it when we put that in, maybe we might not have even put that stud there. But anyway, the top of what's going to be the top of the chicken nesting boxes, we want it to go all the way over so that last box has a top over the entire part of the box. And that stud is kind of poking out to where if we don't cut it out, that it won't have a lid over the whole top of it. Looking pretty good. Like it. Udi, come get in a box. <laughs> then we just got a notch for every one of these freaking studs to slot it back in there. Whew. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> So it actually just started drizzling, but hopefully that's all it does. <laughs> but it wouldn't be any surprise if we get rained out again. I think every time we work on the coop, we get rained out. Yours is neater than mine. <laughs> it's a little squirrely. <laughs> So what I figured, if if it is squirrely, is because you didn't draw a straight line. <laughs> Look at that. That first draw? Yeah. I mean, it's in there. Nice. Yeah, it's flush here. No trimming, I don't think. I like it. I'll take it's it. It's perfect. I don't know when the freaking windows are coming in because yeah. I guess they're like backwater now without pulling them backwater. Yeah. It says delayed. As far as not being able to get our windows and not knowing when we're going to get our windows, it kind of delays the whole project from this point. I mean, we can. Well, we can do we can some still, stuff, but we can run the gutters, but we can't do the downspout. Uh, we can do this door. We can oh yeah, side this door, wall, door. or yeah. maybe maybe that end wall or the two end walls. Other than that, then I guess you know while we're waiting for our windows to come in, we'll start working on the fencing situation. There's plenty else to do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and this is where I find Uni every evening and one of his little ladies nesting on top of the gate. <laughs> Needless to say, they could definitely fly over this thing any day they wanted to. 